denied with Apple because too many new checking accounts? Could that be possible? How are they finding out this information? Let's dive into it. All right, my friends, welcome back. Quick video today. We've talked in the past about second tier bureaus or what I call junk bureaus that basically syndicate as much data as they can about you and resell it to other brokers, bureaus, and businesses that they can. A lot of times these get bought out by Equifax. You should probably look into all the second tier, third tier data furnishing providers that Equifax actually owns now. A little bit terrifying, but Let's, that brings us to the Apple card here today. Um, been a while since we talked about this card. It's not that great of a card. It's a subprime card at best. And they're going through some issues with, you know, who's gonna buy them out and what is the future of the Apple card. There's no sign up bonus. There is a million um, credit union cards that really beat this out. But hey, look, soft pull for the most part. We can do a little game and not get a hard pull at all. Typically pretty easy to get. And yeah, a lot of people like it because it's related to Apple. They like Apple products. Maybe, maybe we could justify usage for it if we live in a downtown city center or we buy a crap load of um, Apple products, maybe. But for the most part, let's not lie here. It's a subprime card, okay? So is it possible though that they would deny you because of too many recent checking accounts? Maybe, here's what I got for you. So let me lay out the profile and then let's go through the, uh, the denial letter. So let's start at the top. Um, denied despite the following. Getting emails to come and apply daily, he says. Experience 99% match suggestion, which means that Credit Karma and others would be pretty high on the, the matching engines as well. He doesn't have any GM cards. On his TransUnion, there's two inquiries in the past 180 days and two in the past four years. Biz cards, only two in the past 180 days on Experian, total of four in the past two years. Uh, at the time of this denial, and this denial just happened at the end of last month. And that's it. Okay, so check it out. Here's the denial letter. Your TransUnion credit report shows you've had too many recent hard inquiries. Again, weird. There's only two in the last 180 days. Third party supplemental information on your TransUnion credit report shows that you have made recent applications for alternative credit, which have resulted in hard inquiries on your credit file. Examples may include checking, credit issuance, auto, payday, utility, etc. Your credit profile shows too many hard inquiries from checking account applications. Two reasons out of three for checking accounts, which he does have a larger amount of um, new checking accounts that he's set up. I think it's like four or five. Interesting, right? Now we could just say, oh, well maybe they're pulling check systems. Well, I think possibly, but not directly. I think that they're pulling it from some of the other third party supplemental data that they actually aggregate in. And this is the problem that we're now getting into is that even things that used to not be related at all are now being pulled in and looked at as a key metric to get a approval or denial on a credit product. That is very interesting. And this kind of fits in line with what we've been talking about over, I don't know now, the last six plus months is that the game is changing. And because of high interest rates, banks are really going through some unique changes to try and defend against this. And if things aren't looking better by quarter three, quarter four of this year, and then the holidays aren't big, then we're gonna be in trouble. And if rates haven't been cut or at least a staying stagnant and not going up, which it looks like that's what's happening now, banking will continue to look like this, if not worse. And so the thing you gotta think about is, I'm not trying to push fear here, is what if things don't go back, you know, by next year or the year after? What if we never go back to the 0% interest rate? When money was so cheap and everyone was getting money everywhere, bank, bank business rating didn't matter. It didn't matter what was going on, man. Everyone was handing out credit, cash was cheap. That era was a very special and unique time. And I don't know if we'll see it exactly the same way that we saw it before. And it's just important to keep that in mind moving forward because I think a lot of people are just kind of waiting for that to go back to that, like the good old days, let's call it. And if those don't come or it takes years and years and years to get there, then are we still moving forward or are we waiting? You know, and to stay stagnant and to not move forward, I think is one of the worst things you could do in life. So anyways, interesting situation. I'd love to hear your feedback though. I know you guys have been out there in the trenches with Apple. What's, what have you seen with the GM Marcus card as well as, you know, the Apple card? What have you guys seen? Is this something that's common now? Uh, did you get something like this? Did you get something different? Share in the comments below. Thank you so much for tuning in. We'll catch you in the next one. Hey, you should subscribe. 60% of you are not subscribed yet, right there. Okay, bye.